my air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Those cross watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. Today, we're going to take a look at and see what is their next move towards you. This is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here where the show more section is. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead, um, give the cards a shuffle and see what is their next move towards you here. Okay, the Four of Wands definitely indicates a homecoming or a reunion of some sort. So the next move towards you might be one in which I feel like they're ready to make a return here. So someone may come back um, unexpectedly out of the blue. Someone may come back to reconcile their differences with you. Um, you could hear from someone that I feel like you have, you, you've had or you still have some very strong romantic feelings for. Maybe this is a long lost love that we're talking about. Maybe this is someone whom you've had a bit of a, let's call it a disruption to the flow of the connection. There was a bit of a calling, uh, a falling out or a disconnection. Someone here is suddenly wanting to come back into the picture. Because the four of ones does signal like a homecoming. This is why I feel like this person is someone who feels very special to you. And it's someone whom you were very close with or may still be very close with so this is why it does feel like someone finally d decides to return back home so someone decides to come back um, reconnect with you revisit a connection here reunite um, maybe even reinvent the connection in some way here okay inject a lot more passion excitement bring more of a closeness and an intimacy to this connection the Lovers card does signal a very strong romantic energy here. It could be lust and infatuation. Um, it could be a deep sense of attraction for one another. Or it could just as well be love. I guess you decide here. But I feel like the next move towards you in one in, is one in which I feel like they want to definitely elevate the connection to the next level. So depending at where you're at with your romantic energy here, if it's early days, and I feel like maybe this is someone who might want to make it um, official or exclusive with you if you know if you've been in this connection for quite some time maybe this is someone who is ready to offer you a romantic proposal an engagement a wedding um, a marriage here maybe you living in together maybe uh, sorry moving in together maybe like a promise ring this is someone who wants to solidify their commitment and their devotion their loyalty and their love to you okay so really trying to cement things here uh, be careful with the Five of Swords here because I do feel like I'm seeing that there is some sort of opposition or even competition here. I'm not sure if this person may feel a little bit insecure that they may be up against other competition here and it may bring out some insecurities within them. Or it could be that you might be experiencing some opposition in this connection here, which may be not stunt the growth of the connection, but maybe hinder some things along the way. Opposition can be connecting energies. It can be your family, your friends. It can be people in your ear telling you, don't give this person another chance, or, you know, this person's not worth it, whatever it is that they may be saying to you. Opposition doesn't have to be a person. Um, it can be It can be travel. It can be distance. Maybe this person lives very far away from you, and, you know, they don't live so close. Um... It could be other, um, you know, other obstacles that get in the way of this connection that may be deemed as an opposition here, okay? So the Five of uh, Swords definitely tells me that there is some sort of conflict or some sort of tension that I feel like this person wants to clear the air on and they want to address within the connection. Or they feel as though they are up against some competition here and they really want to stand out. Okay, so they feel like as though there's some sort of tension that's really pressing on them here. So Nine of Cups tells me that this is someone who is a very, um, I feel like this is someone who is wishing for you and they're wishing to manifest you. They're wishing maybe to manifest you back into their lives, maybe to try and uh, revive some old feelings. 
um maybe you know this is someone who if you guys are still just like if it's early days and you guys are just still starting out i feel like this is someone who does want to um you know who wants you as their boyfriend their girlfriend um this is someone who wants you um to be theirs this is someone who wants to form a very close intimate connection with you so they're doing a whole lot of wishful thinking a whole lot of fantasizing daydreaming about you here but you know your thoughts create your reality so i guess they have to be careful what they wish for because they just might get it because i do feel like there's such a desirous energy that they're coming in towards you so this is someone who i feel like is hoping their fingers uh, sorry crossing their fingers and they're hoping that everything is going to work out favorable so favorably so if this is someone who you know is ho hoping to make a return um the other thing that i wanted to say is for some of you who are doing long distance it could the four of ones could be reflecting to us that this is someone whom is going to visit you okay so this is someone who's traveling to see you from a distance whether from another city state or even country okay that's so there's also that but so this is someone who's hoping everything is going to work out from here on in and that the two of you could maybe resolve your differences, reconcile your differences here, especially with the Nine of Cups. They do feel like you're a blessing, you're a wish come true, and they're really hoping that you could put whatever it was, the tension or the conflict behind you or any opposing factors. Um, and they're really hoping that maybe you could start all over again, clean slate. The Ace of Pentacles tells me that this person is wanting to make a commitment okay so and i do feel like with the because aces bring in a new beginnings right so i feel like this is someone who wants to turn the leaf over someone who wants a new beginning with you someone who wants like a new fresh start a clean slate here and i do feel like the ace of pentacles here is indicative to us that this is someone who is wanting to you know, we spoke about them wanting to solidify their commitment to you, to wanting to, um, I feel like there's something here that they may want to uh, gift you. And that is going to sort of represent a fresh start or a new beginning with you. It could be a promise ring. It could be like um, a ring that might be, or a pendant that might be engraved here. And it's sort of it will symbolize their love and more importantly their commitment and their devotion to you and this connection here okay so it's like every time you will look at this it is something that's going to be very sentimental to you by the way but every time you will look at this you will sort of um it will reflect back to you all the potential and all the promise that this connection holds so that you can always be reminded of that okay so and that to me i feel like that to me is symbolic of their dedication and their commitment to wanting to move this connection forward to wanting to move things from whatever didn't necessarily work out in the past for you um, definitely the ace of pentacles assures us that their next move towards you will bring in or will sort of it will reassure you that you know they want to build the things from here on in they want to build this foundational structure on stability, on loyalty, on security, um, you know, on commitment here. I'm also seeing that this is someone who is, their feelings for you are growing deeper and deeper by their day. And their next move will sort of reflect that back to you. And it will be very uh, suggestive to you just how, you know, there may be... Um, falling for you or there may be their feelings for you may be giving um maybe growing stronger here they do feel very lucky and privileged to have you in your life here to have you in their life here and i do feel like um they're ready to give you that foundation on which this connection will flourish especially with the presence of the death card i feel like this is someone who is this is someone who is wanting to grow and wanting to evolve with you. This is someone who's wanting to um, embark on a new chapter, a new beginning with you. This is someone who I feel like they're, if they are coming back into the picture, they're coming back as a very transformed energy. They've done a lot of growing, a lot of healing, a lot of maturing. And this person is now ready to live and enjoy their life with you here. So it does signify that the relationship maybe has gone through a metamorphosis, um, a transformation, a transitioning here. Okay, and it's sort of, it signifies starting, that you're starting something very new, which will be very positive for the two of you. 
All right, guys, and these are your messages. So thank you for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, subscribing. For those of you interested in a personal reading, please feel free to connect. Otherwise, bye for now.